So I had uh, seen something else, like, well, it was supposed to be a situation where you and Varney, like, you supposed to took his gun or something like that? Yeah, yeah, no, that shit ain't never, I, I ain't never take Livy pipe. Man, Livy, man, Livy was close. Livy really one of the main reasons I really started fucking with, like, OTF and, and Moo Boo and you feel me? I locked in with, with uh, him and Reese and shit. But, nah, but we used to trade pipes, you feel me? I ain't never, I never, nah, I never, that was super false. So have y'all ever, uh, like, have that ever been, like, spoke about on the internet type shit, like, between one of y'all, like? Yeah, 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 we tell, yeah, we talk about it. We talked about it, you know? He basically like, man, I don't give a fuck about that shit, you know what I'm saying? He know, you know shit. I don't even know what made a motherfucker even say no shit, you know what I'm saying, where that came from. So how was it being in uh, Arizona, like around uh, Billy and, and Ruger? Like, did that situation like rough on any people feathers? Yeah, hell yeah, y'all. Yeah, it was, it was kind of like, so basically, I was out there, you feel me? And then uh, Ruger was shooting a show. I mean, Ruger, Ruger had a show. I ain't know Billy was there or, or, or supposed to have been coming and none of that shit. We was just was coming to whatever, boom. So I'm in that bitch. I see, I see Ruger come on stage. I'm there. Now nah, I was locked up with Ruger in like 2012. I was locked up and I get into it, a nigga on, under the under like the, the situation you say. You know what I'm saying? Some street shit. The nigga from uh, a Mad Boy. He come in that bitch tweaking. Ruger helped me roll him. You feel me? It was like three, four. We roll his ass. So. Um, yeah, it never really been no bad blood with us. We got a brother named, I mean, we got a homie named Loco. You know what I'm saying? His brother from, from MOB. So back then, around the same time, we was fucking with, 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 with Billy and, you know what I'm saying, going over there, we'll fuck with uh, some of them, you know, trade pipes with MOB and shit like that. But it was never really no super bad blood between us and MOB. It's just not, okay, we fuck with food now. So now it's kind of like, all right. Yeah. But yeah, it, it was never bad blood. Ruben, Ruben, he another talented motherfucker. Ruben know how to sing and some more shit. Yeah, uh, yeah. He was singing out in jail and shit. Yeah, I think a lot of people don't don't realize like the type of music he could really make, but it'll be like shit. The wave right now, the image that's is like it's like down at two total opposite ends of the spectrum type shit. Like yeah. it'd be like you could do this or you could do this, but he really could do both. I told us he should have came in singing. Goddamn, he should have <laughs> came under the R&B act. Way, probably way more money, way less yeah. bullshit. Way, yeah. way, way more opportunities. 100%. Okay. But he's still from where he's from, so it's going to come regardless. But yeah. it wouldn't have been as, you know how the internet make it more amplified. Like, 100%. It would have been a you know, you know thing type shit. It wouldn't be everybody know. Yeah. Like, it's, it's actually artists from the city who, from hoods that might not be like the most light hoods, mm -hmm. but they don't really... You know, they just be regular with this shit, like they just be themselves, man. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of music like that. So what actually got you into the, the music? Like, was this the shit you been thinking about? Man, bro, a lot of motherfuckers have been always telling me, like, bro, you should rap. Like, King Louis, he was one of the first motherfuckers that told me, like, man, bro, I the band, bro, you, you should rap, bro, you gotta follow him, you should, you should rap. So I'm like, man, nah, bro, that shit ain't for me. I don't eat, nah, bro, do it, bro, that shit. So I'm like, I got locked up though. I was never able to do it type shit. And then shit, when they when they came out making all these um little things on YouTube and shit, that shit, I'm like, man, fuck it, man, they doing all this shit. I might as well try to see if I could, you feel me? Try to take turn, like turn that into a positive, try to make something come out of it. Since they're motherfucker, yeah, man, put the motherfucker business all out there. That's, that's what I be trying to encourage a lot of people. Like when I be knowing certain people, lifestyles, shit like that, I uh, I notice a lot of people capitalize off some shit they really ain't never yeah. did. And I know the niggas who really doing it, they get all the worst shit from it. Yeah. Like they they dying, they getting shot, they going to jail, they yeah. you know, so it's like, but a, a motherfucker will come and rap about what they seen their homie do and yeah. get all the good shit from it. Yeah, so like I be trying yeah. to encourage niggas like, do that shit, like some niggas look at it like it's goofy. Like some niggas, I be telling niggas like, shit, you got a personality, stream. You still like that. Like it don't take that away. Like just cause you start doing this, don't take away what you done did or what you will still do. But niggas be sometimes too gangster for they, they own good. Yeah, 
this internet shit, bro, that shit got motherfuckers moving like robots. Motherfuckers so scared to do something like, oh, I might go viral if I, if I think if I think my own way, if I be me, so I'm just gonna act like everybody else. <laughs> so like, as far as like yo, uh, who would you name like yo top five rappers out the city or top five like legendary? Legendary? Yeah. Or just you could say like just top period. five. Yeah. Or you, or we could do top five that you like just fucking with right now. Uh Boogie G, Boogie. I'm fucking with him for sure. So for sure. Boogie G. God damn it. I'll, I always like Cassidy. Hell yeah. I don't know about right now, but Yeah. Yeah, I mean I'm talking about the old yeah. Cassidy. You that was like my favorite rapper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm fucking with ESTG. I like a lot of his shit. Kevin Gates. Uh, I always fucked with Dipset too. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of motherfuckers fuck with Dipset heavy. Yeah. What's like yo, hold on, how many you just name? I don't even know. What I say, Buki, yeah. Cassidy, Dipset. Yes, um, oh, ESTG, I fuck okay. with him. And uh, Rod Wave, he a rapper? I don't know. Oh, he ain't no rapper. He be singing and shit. Uh-huh. But I think he have made like rap songs, but he ain't really. Uh-huh. Oh, Vaughn. Wow. So. Yeah. Have you ever uh, seen any other rappers that like live a lifestyle of Vaughn or like similar to him that rap? Uh, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Yeah, it's, it's motherfuckers that be talking about real shit that they doing. It's um, other motherfuckers that be talking about shit that they seen them do or heard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's definitely a lot of like like the like the younger guys like Buki the Maze and shit like that. They yeah. they actually stunning on <laughs> shit and then not saying them, but yeah. you know saying? they like his 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 age bracket, they stunning on shit and rapping about it. Yeah, because I feel like that age group basically just seeing what the age group before that was just doing yeah. and probably even started younger sometime or yeah, even, yeah. even worse yeah, yeah. uh the age group after them and then it'd be like that unless like something changed type shit like man it's a lot to change it's getting worse and worse because they like most of their ass think they know everything you feel me and they, and they really like ruthless them motherfuckers they think that back door shit cool they think they get, oh yeah, we gonna slime them out and all that shit. That shit ain't cool. Especially motherfucker you fuck with, you thugging with. Me personally, bro, I'm the type of nigga, bro, I'm, I am I give my niggas my last to, all right, bro, I got this much, you got this much, all right, we gonna, I'm gonna give you that so you, we, we can do this shit together type shit. That's how I am. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people, I'll take side G, he, but that's why a lot of motherfuckers fuck with me, bro. That's, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker know, like, I don't be on none of that. No fool shit. I, I like, you know what I'm saying? Business, any business we do, if I say I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I ain't gonna tell you I'm gonna give you X amount of dollars and I, oh, see, I had to pay rent. No, yeah, no, no. It's, it's, I pride myself on that, you feel me? Okay. But, it's, I ain't gonna lie, it's a lot of people like that, that who, that's why I say like, it'd be like misconceptions, but it really don't be misconceptions sometimes. It's, it's more so like, like my God brother, for example, like if you not one of us or like locked in type shit, like, Yo, yo, stories about him are gonna be totally different from like and that's, what, that's what how we it is get. Me. Like yeah. you got him on family or something, they gonna be like, oh yeah, you know he, and we could call the fact we could call him or you know what I'm saying he we, we need a jump or whatever. Yeah. They gonna call me. I'm gonna take care of that business. You know what I'm saying? But if you ain't like yeah, if you ain't at the table, your ass on the menu. <laughs> well, shit. Like it's like some motherfucker parents would be like, don't play with them or don't be around him. But then. This other motherfuckers like might be this old lady. He take out her garbage every yeah. day. He yeah. he doing this. He you know. So bro, when I when I was a shorty, bro, my my homie, them moms could not believe like why they because you know I come in. Hey, how you doing? I'm let me take this garbage for you. I'm doing that <laughs> like, for sure. Why show. they saying that about that? <laughs> he he so little. I can't believe you know I was even little. You feel me? I'm a shorty. I'm hey I can't believe. Man. <laughs> You ever had situations like that where it got you out of trouble? Like you might have been blamed for something. Did some older people in the neighborhood like, nah, not him. He, yeah, he all like, the time. Hell yeah, 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 hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Yeah, cause I bro, like especially in our neighborhood, bro, we ain't finna be robbing no old ladies, 
taking no purses, stealing out they nothing, bro. none of that. We, hey, Mama Jackson, you need me help, help with your, what you need while the band, well, watch out, let her in. You feel me? That's how I'm coming, bro. It's how I always came. I feel like that's why I be getting a lot of blessings and shit, too. Yeah, look, yeah. I done been shot for murders, attempt murders, carjackings, all type of shit. You feel me? I feel like that, that good shit I be putting in. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I think I'm like a Robin Hood. You <laughs> feel me? Rob from the rich and get to the poor type shit. That type shit I be on. <laughs> so. Uh...